Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable and use audience targeting on your SharePoint site navigation. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. Audience targeting in SharePoint, it's something very useful because allows you to tailor and customize some section of your SharePoint page. For example, you want to display a different new section or content to display files, which is different from several perspectives for several user or groups. But you know that you can enable and use also the audience targeting for the site navigation. That means that a user, for example, on the HR department will see a different site navigation from another user of the sales department, for example. But let's check it out together and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my Microsoft 365 tenant. More specifically, I am in the top site collection of my SharePoint and I have here a home site. Just to show you the structure, I have news, news section, old news, benefits, some links, most recent documents. I have some video from my YouTube channel and then this column that display my Twitter account. Okay, I already enabled and I'm using the audience targeting for, the, for my pages and news. Going now on the site pages, I'll show you that I have this new column audience because I already enabled the audience targeting and I assigned every news to different groups. My idea is to work with three different departments, IT, marketing and HR. If you want to go deeper how you can use the audience targeting in the site pages, click on the link in the top right corner right now. But the topic of this video is the navigation, so then I will focus on the navigation now. Before to edit the navigation, I want to show you that I have three perspectives here. I am logged here as Giuliano De Luca, and I have three other, I have other users here. I have Ligu, which is part of the HR and then I have a Delevance which is part of the marketing group. So going through the groups, I have in the marketing a Delevance. For the global HR I have Ligu. And finally for the IT you can see that I am in. Okay, going back now on the navigation, it's time to create a new a new item. Before to start with the creation, I will enable the audience targeting here. I want to create a label now and here in the display name, I want to insert IT. Then I have to decide which group can see this menu item in the navigation and this will be of course the, the members of the IT. Okay, clicking. Now in OK, I have created a new menu item which only the IT will see. Let me create now a new link here. I will adjust my blog. Display name, blog, audience targeting, IT is fine. Okay, I just created now this new menu item and I will add this as a sub menu item of the IT. Okay, let me create a new one, a new label and I will do the same for marketing which of course will be visible only for the marketing group. Then another label for HR and the member of the HR will see this new menu item. Okay, so let's say that now we will create two additional links for these two labels. One will be just Google 
Tacam. And this will be accessible and visible only from HR. Okay, and then we will add the last link, which will be just Bing and marketing is in now. Okay, going now on the on this link, I will add this as a sub menu item of the of the marketing. Okay, so I think we are good to go now. I will save now this this changes and we have here now the the IT. So then we have the blog marketing and HR. Then we have to modify the structure because the marketing will be on the same level of the IT and the same for HR. Okay, now we have this menu item that we built correctly. We have HR, marketing and IT. It sounds perfect. Let me refresh the page. The IT now is visible only for me because I am Giuliano De Luca and I am member of the IT group. And that's the reason why I can see this menu item. Now changing, theoretically changing the perspective and refreshing the page, I am now Ligu, member of the HR, I will see, in fact, this menu item, HR and Google. Changing again perspective, I am now at Elevance. And if I refresh the page, I will see the marketing visible. And Elevance can see the menu item IT because probably she is member of the, the IT group. In fact, if in fact if I switch on the admin center, I am now I'm seeing now the IT group and Adele Vance is in. So let me get out Adele Vance saving. Okay. So now switching back again on the view of Adele Vance. And the menu item is gone. IT is no more visible, but only marketing because Adele is no more part of the IT group. You can enable the audience targeting for documents as well. I'll show you how easy it is. You have just to go on the documents, on the document library, and then you have to go on the library settings. You will find this audience targeting settings. And then you have to enable this, this option button. Enable audience targeting. This is the modern audience targeting. This other one is the, the older is the older feature. So then select this one, which is the, the modern. And then you will have the same behavior for documents as well. That's it. All right, we have seen this nice feature, audience targeting, that allows you to display different content of the same SharePoint site according with user, group or department. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.